on a beautiful spring day when the sun was out and the bulbs were blooming, I put in an order for 3,000 tulip bulbs. So beautiful, so excited. But here we are on a cold, wet fall day and I'm tired after a whole season of farming and now we have to put them in the ground. <laughs> so I have a mountain of bulbs and we need to figure out one, where we're gonna put them, we have nowhere to put them, and two, how are we going to do this? This is gonna take a lifetime, but don't you worry, by the end of this video, it will be done, and come spring, I will not regret all this work we're gonna do. At this point in our farming journey, at the end of year two, our farm is always changing and we have lots of ideas and lots of plans for ways it's going to change even more in the future. These bulbs that I purchased, I don't want to have to be digging them up and moving them as I, as I move the components of our farm around. So the trick is to find a place that I can put them let them just become perennials that come back year after year and not have to worry about if I'm gonna come along and put a new greenhouse down or build a new section of farm beds. So it, we're a little bit challenged because of that. Serena bought a lot of tulips and I didn't really feel like digging 3,000 holes and she didn't feel like waiting for me to dig 3,000 holes. So we rented this trencher, uh, you know, it's more like for doing buried cables or water lines underground, but our idea is that we just dig a continuous trench instead of individual holes for the tulips, and uh, we can do it quickly and easily with this thing. Turns out it's not as easy to use as, uh, as hoped. It's still, it's still getting the job done really fast, it's just that it is a real pain to move around. It gets stuck on like flat ground if the dirt's a bit soft. So far, the plan is we've run a trench along the fence line about 300 feet and we're gonna start filling this in with bulbs. Let's go grab some of our tulip stack. Let's go grab some bulbs to get outside and get planting. We have an entire box of rainbow mixed tulips. These are a whole assortment of colors and there's 750 bulbs in there. We have a full box of these oversized bulbs. This box here has 350 of Queen of Night, the super dark, rich colored tulip. And I'm very excited to blend these with all my fun, funky colors. I also have another 350 box of the oversized bulbs. And this variety is Oxford Elite. It's gonna be so much fun to have bunches and bunches and bunches of these fun multicolored one. I have a special daffodil called Sunny Side Up that I'm really excited about. It's very, very decorative. And I bought a variety called uh, Van Egyck, is uh, my best guess how to pronounce that. And it came in four separate colors. So I bought a hundred of each of the color. And these have massive, massive flowers on big, strong, tall stems. So I'm excited for these two. I have a hundred purple sensation allium. These I'm gonna plant up in the flower farm. And onion flowers are my absolute favorite. So I'm excited to start a big patch of those. And I also bought a few treats for just decorative 
home garden. I have 75 mixed color hyacinths and some of these botanical tulips that are really, really fun. Half of these I'm going to be planting for myself and the other half I'm gonna pot up into small pots. Some of the most exciting of all though are these doubles and and very extravagant tulips. These are these are the ones that are really going to make my bouquets be show stopping. The varieties that I have are Miami Sunset and it's a single but oh those colors. And then I have doubles and for those I have Silk Road. I have a double Gouda Schnick something like that uh, a double peony flowering yellow pompanette and oh those doubles they're just so beautiful i'm probably the most excited though and this also honestly was my most expensive tulip i'm most excited about the double peony blue wow the color and the fullness this is this is a stunning tulip and then the final super fancy one is sun lover and oh i can't wait to see what these look like as bouquets so let's get these outside and get planting first thing i'm gonna start with is i have all of our uh, daffodils or narcissus and so I have a box of 300 mixed of those and I'm planting half of my fancy ones and that's where we're gonna start on the very beginning of the very first line so get ready bulb one is about to go in monumentous beginning one done fill it in Sam fill it in it's a good start. It's a good start. We need to get more bulbs. also have three beds in the farm that we are going to plant. I've been busy at work trying to get this area prepared for Ian to come and do the trenches for me. We had some seed dahlias, we had some sunflowers, a few things here, but we are taking three beds and we are putting trenches down here. So what I've done is I've ripped all of these very heavy sunflowers out of the ground and left them here for Ian to carry away because they're too heavy for me. And I've pulled all of our irrigation back in this area. The big full on plan is every foot. We're gonna have a trench. I think I'll be able to fit 11 trenches in here, which would be about hopefully a thousand bulbs that can fit in here. And then we can have this beautiful flush that comes up in the spring and then come summer when things heat up and the tulips are starting to die off i'm going to plant amaranth because you all know how obsessed with amaranth i am so i need three full beds of only amaranth because we're now an amaranth and tulip farm oh muscle My sweet, look at my sweet man. We have a healthy crop of cats in this greenhouse. It's now day two, another rainy, <laughs> miserable day. Um, we didn't get too much done yesterday. We were just learning how to use the trencher. We have a bunch of trenching that we need to do, not 
for the bulbs. So we got all that done and we started experimenting with getting some bulbs in. Despite that, despite not getting very much done, we already have 750 of the bulbs into the ground. So I, I'm very confident we'll get almost done by the end of the day. We might have little bits and pieces, um, but it's going a lot faster than if we just had to dig a, a hole per bulb. So I'm very, very happy with how this is working out so far. The primary place we're gonna be planting bulbs today is in these three beds, which we're gonna run uh, like three trenches per bed in. Uh, all of this is gonna be like tulip bulbs. It's gonna look really cool in the spring, but we are a bit worried about getting the trencher through here because the one that we rented has very bad traction. We're gonna run the first trench through. That's the first thing we're gonna do when we fire it up. The first trench through here and see if we can actually, you know, just get across the, the bed because the dirt in here is pretty soft. It's in position for the first cut. Well, that was a way bigger pain in the butt than uh, we had hoped for. Uh, still better than digging a trench, but we are glad that that is finished and we will both be <laughs> probably taking an anti-inflammatory tonight because I know my back. That was hard on the back and I was doing the easy job. We ended up getting these in a lot you know, a lot more in, in the space than I expected. We used pretty much only two beds, like maybe nine feet in total. And uh, we have 10, 10 rows of, so like almost a thousand bulbs done in here. Um, and then we just have a couple more spots, but this, this was the biggest pain in the butt. And this is also hot, like best space. So we put all of our super fancy ones. So this is gonna look really pretty. These are where all the doubles are. We're at day three now. The trencher has been returned because all of the trenching has been completed. I'm working on the second row of the super long trench along our fence and I'm getting all of my beautiful oversized bulbs in obsessing about how <laughs> how really nice these look as I drop them into the trench. We don't have too much left at this point. We have definitely gotten the majority of the bulbs in. After I finish this up, all that we have left is bits and pieces. The 
tulips are pretty easy to plant. What you want to do is you want to make a hole fairly deep, probably like six inches. I'm going up to eight inches on uh, these trenches. And so you want them down so they don't freeze and it keeps the bulbs cool in the summer. And then you want to make sure that you put it pointy side up. So you want the, the flat where the roots are going to come, that down and the point up. Just place it in there and you fill your hole in. We're doing our spacing about six inches. Um, some of these are getting a little bit closer and probably, you know, kind of accidentally doing more like five inches occasionally. Um, and then that gives them a chance to, in the future, make bigger clumps and fill in. They're not so close that they're gonna crowd each other. And hopefully the voles will be less likely to find them all this way too. I think the trencher. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to make 3,000 of these? No. flower farm bed. This is a section where we had some straw flowers growing this summer, um, but the rest of this bed is perennials. So I have a hundred allium bulbs and we're filling this spot in so this whole entire uh, bed will end up being perennials that'll come up every year. So I have a hundred and we haven't gotten a hundred in, so we still have, still have a bunch left to go find a home for but we're making progress on the last bits and pieces. At this point, um, I probably have about 300, maybe 400 random bulbs that are just, just for us, you know, other than these alliums. Um, and we're gonna slot them in around in our herb garden and in other spots where, you know, we're gonna find hole holes and put some bulbs in the ground with our bulb auger. We are up at the front of our property, out here to let people know that Red Roof Family Farms has flowers in the spring because we're gonna plant them. We're gonna put some of my cheaper mixed color bulbs. I saved a bunch, so we're gonna put a bunch along the fence. Be pretty come spring. Give people a reason to drive down our creepy driveway. Um, yeah, and at this point we're, you know, it's just bits and pieces. So I'm gonna leave Ian to do the holes because I'm lazy and he's nice and strong. Um, and then we're gonna finish up this bulb job finally. garden. There's a patch where I don't have anything planted and now there's gonna be beautiful bulbs in here. The herb garden last year I filled about half of it in with a handful of mixed bulbs um, and so I know that this pack half doesn't have any of the, the bulbs mixed in so it's gonna look really pretty to have these popping up giving us a bunch of color, some stuff for us to enjoy without having to cut it and sell it. Still lots, still lots to plant. Still lots more holes. It's much nicer in here. <laughs> <laughs> 
Eight degrees. Eight degrees feels balmy because there's a very cold wind. It's gonna get to minus two tonight, so we need to get this done. We need to get these bulbs in the ground because I've had them outside and they can't stay outside overnight because then they'll turn to mush. So Ian, how are you feeling about bulbs? I'm pretty over them at this point in time, but uh, you know, we have gotten 90% of them planted, right? At least. At least, so. I don't, I don't really think we have to put the rest of them in the ground. No, this is for, this is the bulbs for us. Yeah, I don't really need bulbs. Serena's giving me a look right now. Ian is currently making the stinkiest of his stink faces and he's being a big poo poo head and refusing to help me. Um, but he's a lot better at digging holes than me. And I do agree with him, what we're doing right now is a pain in the butt because, you know, we're going and we're digging one hole to put two bulbs in, you know, moving through heavily planted areas. This is, this is the type of bulb planting that is not as fun as the trencher. Um, but there's only like 200 left, so that's like only 100. Pain, Just dig a pit. painful holes. Just dig one pit, throw them all in. So, you know, uh, we take a half an hour here, we'll get it done together, and then completely done, the end. 3,000 bulbs planted, almost. I, I have some inside stuff too, but uh, that's for another day.